in this adobe premiere pro tutorial we'll be learning to make this merge transition effect and we'll be doing that in a very simple and easy way so i already have two videos in my project we select each one of the video and drag this towards the right side panel here so that a sequence is created with that video settings so i would like to create a transition between these two videos at this point here in order to do that, I already have a transition overlay that I downloaded from Production Create. Production Create is an amazing website wherein you can download tons of free content. All you have to do is go to the link in the description and register absolutely for free. And then you'll have access to a lot of content. I'll click on this and click on Transitions. Here, I'll click on Drippy. And I'll download this Rippy Merge Transition. So click on this download button and it will download into your system and bring it inside your project. Once you do that, before importing it into our sequence, I'll move the video one, one layer above, and then I'll drag the transition layer to the end of the first clip. And let me zoom in a bit. And then drag the second video just below it. The next thing is to click on the razor tool and cut the first video at this point here and go to the FX panel. If you don't find the FX panel, make sure you go to window and also ensure that FX is checked. So from the FX panel, I'll type in track mat. You can see that we have track mat key effect and I'll drag this onto video one. You can see that it has been added. And now I'll change the mat from none to video three. And now if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is happening. But that is not what we want. We have to invert this. To do that, I'll simply check this reverse button. If I start playing the video now, you can see that this is how the transition is happening. And that is what we need. Adobe Premiere Pro is all about creativity, so you can use different overlays and use nice transitions for your music videos or blogs. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and see you guys next time with another tutorial.